Oakland A's UK Oakland A's UK The Oakland A's UK The Oakland A's UK Hello and welcome to Oakland Days UK I'm Matt Smith here for your Sunday review on Sunday the 23rd of June. Now unfortunately the big news of the week for the A's has been the 80 game suspension for Frankie Muntas. I've covered that separately in another video so if you haven't seen it already check that one out after this video and we'll leave that bad news to one side here. Let's concentrate on the results for this week in this video. The A's came into the week on a level 36 and 36 win loss record. The A's had started a 10 game homestand with three games against Seattle and they dropped two of the three games there. So we needed the A's to bounce back this week with a three game series against Baltimore Orioles and then four games against the Tampa Bay Rays. With the A's wanted to move upwards from their 500 record, Having the Baltimore Orioles coming into town is a good opportunity that you need to take advantage of. And the A's did exactly that, winning all three games. There was a combined run score of 27-7, so the A's really dominated the series, not least in Game 2, their demolition job that was a 16-2 win. There were six home runs hit by the A's in that game alone, including the first in the majors for Bo Taylor. There was also some good starting pitching, and I know you have to factor in that the Orioles lineup is not very good, but still, Mike Fires pitched into the seventh in game one. Brett Anderson pitched seven innings in game two. And Chris Bassett went five and two thirds in game three. So good starting pitching to give a good foundation for those three wins. And also some fair dinkum pitching by Aussie Liam Hendricks. He made two appearances in the series, first game and third game. Pitched three innings across the two without giving up a single base runner. And that played into his progression through the bullpen ranks later in the week. So couldn't have gone better for the A's. Three games, three wins. Always nice to see Sooty's friend Sweep coming in and wearing the green and gold. And yeah, 39 and 36 win-loss record coming out of the series. Tampa Bay Rays, of course, are a very different proposition to the Baltimore Orioles. So we're always going to be a sterner test for the A's, but they've shaped up pretty well so far. The A's won the opener on Thursday, 5-4. Really exciting end to the game, with Matt Chapman hitting the three-run walk-off home run. But you kind of have to then put it into a slight negative context, unfortunately. With Frankie Montas pitching eight great innings in the game, but then getting suspended the following day. And the Chapman heroics being set up by Blake Trinan having yet another blow up in the ninth inning. Now on Saturday, Trinan was placed on the 10 day injured list by the A's with a mild rotator cuff strain in his shoulder. He said it's not been a root cause of his struggles of late and that seems fair enough. I think it's just a case of let's get him on the injured list, get him a little rest and hopefully he can come back in much better form afterwards. So game one went the way of the A's five to four Four. They then lost the game on Friday 5-3 in the gloom of Frankie Muntas' suspension. Matt Olson and Ramon Laureano going back to back, but that was where the good news ended there. But then yesterday on Saturday, a day game in Oakland, so 9.07pm start for us in the UK, the A's came back and won it 4-2. And good stuff again, of course, by Matt Chapman, making an even more of an absolute joke of the All-Star voting and good job Bolly A's official Twitter account on just pointing that out to everyone. The numbers don't lie as they put it, so good, yeah, well said A's Twitter account. Um, but apart from Matt Chapman, I think you also have to give some credit to Mike Fires. He went six innings and did find a lot of trouble early on, particularly in the third inning. He really wasn't on the same page with Bo Taylor behind the plate and actually at one point sort of kicked the dirt on the man because he was getting frustrated at um, shaking him off because they weren't on the same page in terms of what pitches Mike wanted to throw. But he recovered, he only gave up one end run over the six innings and that's a good solid start. That's, that's nothing flash, it's not a Cy Young contender by any stretch, but it's good, a good solid platform to win a game from, which is what the O's did. And we also had Liam Hendricks, who I think must be called Hendo because he's Australian, so that surely is his nickname. Hendo going in in the ninth and pitching a good clean inning, again giving up no base runners to pick up the save. So 4-2 win for the A's there. and. Yeah, really positive start to the Rays series. 
The A's go into Sunday's game on a 41 and 37 win loss record. The Sunday's game is a 9.07 p.m. start in the UK, so day game in Oakland. And it's going to be Brett Anderson, friend of A's UK, Brett Anderson on the mound for the A's. He's been brilliant for us this season. You couldn't have asked for any more from him. I know he's had a few niggly injuries, but by and large, he's been solid for us. And that's exactly what we hoped for from a veteran pitcher. So hopefully we can see some more of that from him today. The Rays are throwing Ryan Stanek on the mound as the opener, as the Rays like to do. So he'll be another tough test, but hopefully the A's can get through that and finish what's clearly been a trying week for the A's off the field. Finish this week in really good style. To take three or four against the Rays would be very positive. To make it a six on one week, well, that would be fantastic. So hopefully the A's can get it done. Coverage is on MLB TV, as I say, at 9.07 p.m. in the UK. That's your Sunday review for the 23rd of June. Next week, there won't be a Sunday review because I'll be busy in London for the MLB London series. Now, I know some of you A's fans will say, mm, Yankees, Red Sox, I kind of agree in a very little way. But as a fan of baseball in the UK since 1998, the sheer thought of seeing Major League Baseball in the UK is just ridiculously exciting. And we've seen some photos this past week of Le Diamond, what it's looking like in the London Stadium. So, yeah, cannot wait for that weekend. Of course, we've got the Ace UK meetup on a Saturday from two o'clock at Crate Brewery in Hackney. So a short walk to the stadium. So Hannah, Dom and myself will be there, other A's fans. So if you're in the area, even if you're not coming to the game, please come along. It'd be great to meet you all. Um, I'm not sure, looking at the stadium regulations, if they'd let me take my camcorder in, so I'll probably just have my phone and do some filming on that. But yeah, we should have some footage for you from the London Series weekend. So that will be a bonus video for you to kind of make amends for not having a Sunday review next weekend. But hope you're looking forward to the week ahead for the A's and the A's Sunday game today against the Rays. And if you're going to the MLB London Series, hope to see you there. I'm Matt Smith. Don't forget to follow along on the social media stuff on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at OpenAUK. And of course, like, share and subscribe here on the YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching.